Next question. But that's, that's, so now okay. I think what, what's good about that is that we've probably laid to rest any more references of your Doctor Who experience. Yeah, for now. For now, for good. Yeah, yeah. Until, of course, I've watched the episode and then we can talk about it at length. Please watch it. Yeah, I will do. Mean the, it mean the world to me if you did. Oh, okay. Next question. Um, this is a question from Mrs. A. Hester. Oh, hang on, be careful. It's not like I have a big one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's her husband. Um, Miss, Mrs. A. Hester. <laughs> no, be right. careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to say it a few times, Mrs. A. Hester. Uh, okay, carry on. This is a, this, I think this is a really interesting question. Mrs. Mrs. A. Hester asks... It's a very un- unusual way to sign off, <laughs> Mrs. A. Hester. <laughs> um, what got you, Lee, to this point of curiosity? Did something happen to you? <laughs> I like this question for a number of reasons. One, completely ignores me. <laughs> yeah. And two, it's obviously insinuating <laughs> you're having some kind of... Some, some trauma happened. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting, this. Something traumatic happened in my life is the question. <laughs> she also doesn't mention you. I mean, you put the pieces together now. <laughs> but, but, you know, you could no, probably I'll guess. tell you what. You might not have been in the question, but you're definitely in the answer. <laughs> uh, did something... But not... she knows at this point, this was a relatively recent... This was a very recent question. She knows mm-hmm. that I'm reading the question, I'm reading the emails. If she's got mm-hmm. to the point of asking the question... What do you mean? She's definitely... Well, it's definitely uh, organ Is grinder it... and monkey syndrome, right? Yeah. She sees you as admin. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you? <laughs> Oh, right, okay, yeah, no, I just got it. Yeah, I am, sorry, do carry on. I feel bad now, because people do say to me, why did you choose Neil for this? And I always say... What people? Great great admin, great admin. What people? And when I say, they say, why did you choose Neil? They don't say it like that, they have a different intonation. (laughs) The the why is is very emphasised. Is it? It's a very long word when they say it. Very long. I think it might start with, for God's sake, comma. (laughs) Um... No, there was no specific, uh, a bit like they're not drinking. I didn't think, I'm right, my life's going to change because something bad's happened. I just slowly evolved into a non-drinker. And then one day, I mean, I think we've discussed this. I was going for a walk with a friend who said, do you know Jerry Seinfeld likes to, to meditate? Oh, I thought you were trying to name drop then that your friend was Jerry Seinfeld. With a friend, you know Jerry Seinfeld? Comedian, that guy? No, it was Rob Pride. <laughs> Genuine. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we've <laughs> but we have discussed this and so yeah Rob Bryden said to me that um, Jerry Seinfeld meditates so I, I gave it a bash just just gave it a bash he and literally then, did it because Jerry Seinfeld does it. it not literally because it was done casually you know no if, literally because whether it was done casually or not he goes you know Jerry Seinfeld does it well if Jerry Seinfeld does it I'm doing it Okay, if that's what you want to believe, well, if, that's, no, no, no. if that's the narrative you want, to, it could be another version of that, which is there was a small seed of it already in my head, and I can't remember. It was just sort of floating around, and then I was given the nudge by saying, "Oh, you know that Jerry Seinfeld really likes TM," and I went, "Oh, transcendental meditation. I've heard about this. Yeah, I might give that a bash. It could have been that, as opposed to me running home, <laughs> running home to my room that I dedicate to Seinfeld." <laughs> And say and, and praying to him and saying, you know, sitting next to his cardboard cutout and having a long conversation with him. But it's and interesting though, right? Because did, did you think, oh, Jerry Seinfeld does it? He's a re- he seems like a really centered person. Or Jerry Seinfeld does it? He's a good comedian. Um, you know, I like Seinfeld. I'm not not like a passionate obsessive. I, I I like Jerry Seinfeld, but it's no different to the time I took up kung fu because Roy Chubby Brown did it. <laughs> As long as there's a comedian and an activity, I'm in. (laughs)